Okay. Right. Okay. Good morning, all. Uh, only three. Well, two, two, two with me. Two people with me. That's um, Terry and oops, Nigel. Um, and Nigel hasn't been with us before, so uh, he's he'll be floundering, I suspect. I hope not. Like the rest of us, I should imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just a beginner. Right now, last, <clears throat> last time, which of course Nigel wasn't present at, we were looking at a subject called posing tools. Oh, I've done that. Um, yeah, yes, yeah. good. <laughs> Did I've you got to find them now? I, 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 <clears throat> I, didn't, I couldn't find the recording from the last one. Oh gosh! Um, so uh, I have done some posing tools. I'll have to find them though. And Terry's done some. He's given me his his um what do you call it? The flash memory. And Alan, of course, has done some because he was with us when we finished last time. Don't you, Alan? Adam? Yes, but I've done something else, actually. Oh dear. <laughs> How obstreperous you are at times. <laughs> Not to worry. <clears throat> well, just just to prove it, um, and um because mine's a quickie. Um, if I share screen now, uh, yeah. and um, can you see that plaque? Yes, I know. It's sad, isn't it? <laughs> That's what I want put on my tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Um, we went to um, Selborne to Gilbert White's house, mm -hmm. who is um, or was a naturalist yeah. uh, and a vicar. And um, opposite him, somebody had put that plan. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, and the dates are Gilbert White's dates. And the name is a, a play on Gilbert White because you've got Gilbert and Sullivan, no. and white and black. Oh, very good. <laughs> so I took that picture and went into iPicky and decided I'd. I'd make my own plaque. <laughs> I thought the brick wall looked the same. <laughs> Well, come on now, Alan. You need to have some uh, things opposite to your name. What's the opposite of Alan? Alan and who? Who's the famous Alan? A second Alan. I mean, a second not Alan. A group of pe two people called Alan and yes, don't know. Anyway, that that was um, I, I, I a bit tongue in cheek and uh, I brought a smile to a few people's faces. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you could, of course, put the final date in while you're at it. Well, yes, but I don't want to tempt Providence. <laughs> That's fair enough. Fair enough. Right. OK. Uh, <clears throat> so you're going to show us your pictures then that you did apart from that? No, no, that's it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, you were here, wasn't we? Yes. All you could do was put them together. You must have took some while you were here. Your pictures you took. Oh, the tools. Um, <laughs> the yes, um, <laughs> the, the <laughs> problem <laughs> is they're, they're on my laptop which is playing up at the moment it refused to start just now so uh, i've not got access to them oh dear. i've just found mine that i did weeks ago right um, and i'm trying to get it organized i can't even remember what i did now i think it was something to do with needlework stuff well, shall i show terry's at the moment while you're doing yeah. that if i can figure out how to do it or oh, shared i share them of course oh we've got to do the two Little buttons, and then I guess it's this one here, is it? Kingston. That's all very well saying that's not Kingston, there, is it? Well, but I've this Chrome, it's not going to be Chrome, it's not. No. Oh, all right, forget that then. Um, what could it be? Hold to select multiple windows, hold control to select multiple windows. Would it be easier to just open, um, open up the start, photos in start again? Um, Explore Snapstone. Uh, uh, what do we what it we use? Um, oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, it could be. And, and it? then you'll get that come up on that screen. We've changed the logo for that, and I keep getting confused with what it is. Right, <coughs> it's a Snapstone viewer. Yes, that's what I'm just trying, just trying to get to that. 
we tend to use Fastone Viewer because there's a lot of facilities within it. It may be one that you've not come across. No, it's but... not one I've come across. I use ACDC. Oh, not good heavens, that's a bit old, isn't it? <laughs> ACDC. I used to. Right, where am I? Which drive is it? Is this one? No, that's not, it's not there, is it? It's got one in it. It's, a, it's got a big program. Uh, it's basically the same as uh, Photoshop. Oh, okay. But it's much simpler. You can do pretty well the same. Ah, original. It isn't there, I'm afraid. The drop. Oh, Diana, yeah, no, Walls Peter is floundering. What, what's that on your table that has got pictures on, has it? Jigsaw. A jigsaw, all oh, right. I'm a jigsaw addict. Right. I've always got a jigsaw on, on, on the go. That was my sister's one. She get she lent it to me. Uh, it's butterflies. Uh, right. Still not appeared. It's not. Um, why is that not appearing? I wonder. Let's try it a different way. Try. It. Oh, I don't want to do that. Do I? Or do I? Um, I'm going to lose where I am on that, aren't I? I know. Have another version of that. Then we can go down here with any luck. Kind of following wind. Still not there, is it? It's up to your drive. Are you sure there's anything on it? Yes, it's definitely on there. I put it on. It'll there. be brilliant when it arrives. You could hear that, couldn't you? You'd think that would be enough to stimulate it. Oh, there's Kingston now. It's, it's arrived. Right. Um, Sorry on there, Peter. So if I um, one I took here and two that I've created since. So if I do it um, like that, oh, it should be straight on to. In excess, there we go. Right, am I, am I sharing it with well, you? The title is at the top. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm sharing at the moment. No, you're not. So let's just try again. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, tick, tick those again, didn't I? Right, share. Here we go. There, there's uh, Terry's first one. It's not what I thought it was initially. It's the title is at the top, Peter. The title is at the top. Glowing keys. Must be Alan Keys. Oh, there you are, Alan. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you are. You could just change the name, the spelling a bit. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> so let's have a look. That's that's a bit of process, isn't it? Um, it's it's just done with glow and edges in um, Photoshop under the filters. Really? Mm -hmm. I took the shot um, on a um, brown um, board. Um, I thought. What can I do with Allen keys? I was going to try and stand them up and try and make sort of bridges or something out of them. And um, then when I noticed some of the um, rust and all on them, I thought, how can I bring that out? Ah, is that what it is? So yes. Yes, um, yes. I, I thought, well, let's go through the filters. And I hadn't used filters for quite a while and see what I could use. And one of the first ones that actually came up was glow and edges. Um, which I've used quite successfully in the past. And I was quite pleased with how that come straight out without any adjustments on um, what the settings were. Um, that top Allen key in particular had a lot of rust on it, as has the um, this one. right hand one. So it's accentuated the rust really well, I thought. I've noticed this is only 42% of its full size. Yes, I... Um, you didn't reduce the size. I, I zoomed in, uh, sorry, I um, cropped in. Yeah, but even so, the 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 image here is two thousand five hundred pixels yeah. square, and I can only get forty two percent of it here. Oh, okay. So it's not full size by any means, right? So we move on to well, the it should be full size picture. Well, it just pictures look much bigger. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If if we had it full size, can we get it full size? Well, I can do that. So it's off the screen somewhere. Anyway. Oh, sorry, I I understand what you mean now. Yeah. Right. Okay. Next picture. There's this one. Oh, that's it. Whoops. That'll be the um, oh, is that somebody coming in? Stan, Stan, oh, right. Well, I'll stop sharing and that one again. Just, uh, just a moment, I'll just stop sharing while Stan okay. comes in. Say hello to him. Ah, oh, there you are, Stan. Morning. Um, no, I didn't know there was a meeting this morning. I sent you an email, in fact, two. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. two. I sent one email uh, yeah. yesterday. yesterday. It's probably you weren't on the list for some reason. I'm always muddling that up. <laughs> if so, I apologise. <laughs> I don't know that I got an email about it. I just got the link from previous one of the previous ones. I, I just switched the computer on and saw the um, in, 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 invitation. 
Okay, well, here you are, Sam. Thanks. Hey, Fine. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Hello. Right. Good evening. I went to see uh, to went to see um, Richard Temlett the other day, and um, he had his two Lego models on one side. It's both of them sort of great big machines, about um, uh, nearly nearly twenty two inches long each, and pretty high, and they're all electrically controlled. And he said, oh, "I can control it from my smartphone." And he picked up his smartphone and started twiddling about with things, and then little bits twitched here and there, but. <laughs> and then started rolling towards the edge of the edge of the table. <laughs> it climbed over books and all sorts of things. It got the caterpillar tracks. So I've talked to Richard about Lego, and if you look behind me, those flowers are Lego, and the oh. little trees Lego. <laughs> and behind this computer, I've got a Satin Five rocket, which is about a meter high, that I made out of Lego. Amazing what people do, isn't it? <laughs> well done. Well, someone does that. <laughs> how, is, how is Richard's health? Well, he was um, still on his fortified milk, and I was able to handle this fortified milk. It was a little bottle of two, 200 millilitres, and uh, it's milk with extra proteins and all the sorts of things you need in life because he can't eat anything else. <clears throat> and he had a packet of dried fortified milk as well, so you can mix that with water. He said none of it tastes very nice, although it says chocolate on it. It doesn't really taste of chocolate. <laughs> but anyway, that's what he's having to live on at the moment. Oh, poor Richard. Yeah. It sounds really sad. Now, Stan, while you're attending, I've got a new member here, look, in a yellowy jumper. That's called a term, but a pertinent common... <clears throat> He's called Nigel Parry. <clears throat> Hello, Nigel. Good morning, sir. Stan lives in Oakham, as I said. Oh, he's up north, is he? <laughs> up north, yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we've got it's people Rutland. from across the world. Right. So where, where's Oakham? Rutland. Rutland. Next to Leicestershire. Oh, Leicester. Leicester. That way. Yes. I used to live near Salisbury. And Right. Yes, indeed. Well, Stan used to belong to the Salisbury Camera Club and Romsey Viewfinders Camera Club, which we also belong to, Sheila and I. So moving on to sharing back to uh, to um, Terry's pictures. He was showing us this. This is tools, in case you can't remember, Stan. We were doing tools last time. Yes, yes, indeed. And this Never. is... I don't know what this is. These are a set of tools. Yeah, on the level. On yeah. the level, yes. That's not level there, look. Immediately level. not level, I can see. Uh, well, <laughs> oops. <laughs> can you see the bubble in there? Uh, <clears throat> just here. The bubble should be, well, well, I think it was level. I think the we can see. The bubble might be level, but the line of the level. Oh, is yes, yeah, it's because it will not quite square. Yeah. yeah. I can straighten it for you no, if I can. Is that level? I did a quick crop on that one. Um, it was taken similar to the um, Allen Keys, Peter. Um, I just grabbed some bits and pieces out of my um, toolboxes and That's better. Um, then I used filters again from Photoshop. And I think that's bass relief. Yes, it is. This thing at the bottom looks like a tuning fork. That's 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 just it's an old um, uh, level. It's a um, oh, wooden one with brass oh, um, oh. pieces. Oh, it's that whole thing. Yes. Yeah. I was going to clean the brass up and see whether that shone it up better. But the, the bottom one and the right hand one are old ones. Oops. The left hand one is one with a laser pointer in it, ah. and the top one is one of these cheapy plastic ones, which a bit dubious of whether it it um, is level or not because <laughs> that's uh, why the picture wasn't level. <laughs> no, uh, well, if they'd have all been the it's same size, it's, it's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah, yeah <laughs> <supposed no>. <laughs> right. Um, well, we'll straighten it up for you and keep it that way. <laughs> I, I could have done distort on it through Photoshop and um, really played with it. I'm replacing your original file, I'm afraid. That's fine. And finally, oh, yes. And this is one that I took here, Peter. Yeah. That's on your table outside. But what I've done with that, I've added in the red lines because I, I wanted to put something just a little bit more into it. The title, again, is at the top. Punch me in the head. <laughs> Because that's a head of a hammer, a hammer head. So what are these red lines made of then? 
I, it's just um, I I did a selection in between the um, slats of your table. I see. And then I just did fill, fill with colour. So instead of green, we've got red. <laughs> yeah, because the grass was below, and I didn't like the, I didn't like how it looked, and I I just wanted to put something extra into it, and then shifted it around so that I've got the um, lines going up through the corners. This is only 29% of the, the size at the top, so it's 29%. So you don't believe in reducing your pictures, do you? This is 5,400 pixels. It's, well, they're uh, taken at 6,000 by 4,000. Well, I can reduce it down to a, a more reasonable size there, that's better. <laughs> I won't do that. If you show Stan the um, the very first one as well, because he missed that one. Oh, yes. That one was... Um, that's the one you're pleased with, isn't it? I am pleased with that one, yes. It's not level yeah. again, look. <laughs> Which have I got a, a, a gadget for? I always do it the wrong way. That's better. Is that going to look okay if I look you at get that? the top line. Mm -hmm. It's only the top line. Can you do? Is it? Yeah. You need to go to Photoshop to get these straight as well. Okay. Shall I save it like that? Fine. Good. Right. I think it's better we're having the top one level rather than the side one level. Yeah, I think so. Right, well, I think that's all of um, your pictures, isn't it? That was the only three I did, yes. So let's cross that off. And, oops, is it gone? Um, not the one I was doing? No, not the one. Any comments from anybody? Um, I like your use of the filters. Good. Yes, they're quite a quite, um, good idea. The glowing edges work very well. Right, I'll just try and remove your um, memory stick now without wrecking it. I thought the bass relief one was quite interesting. Almost as though somebody had been etching. Mm. Right. Yes, I went through all of the filters to try and see which the um, best was. And for that particular one, um, the bass relief came out actually best. Mm. See if I can find my original ones if you'd want to see them again. Um, it's such a long time to roll through all my files, Spire. I've got some somewhere on my computer which um, I think are ready to go. <laughs> Where did I put them? Did I put them under tools? Apparently not. Um, oh dear. Didn't put them under posing either. Well, perhaps I didn't do them at all. I can barely remember what I did with my tools. It was a month ago, after all. Yeah, a lot's happened since uh, then. Hers first, and then we'll have a look. Yeah, at so let's have a look at yours, and I. Anna. Well, let's have a look, see if I can find them. Um, yeah. You got that? Yeah. 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 Very nice white uh, thing. Oh, that's better. So that's these were from my mum when she died. I took all her needlework tools and crochet tools. Yes, I like yeah, the yeah. oil can in the middle. You what? I like the oil can in the middle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, the thing that annoys me with that is not the it's not standing vertically uh, with the the snap British snap thing behind. It just looks a bit off centre, but yes, it does. I think, I think those um, threads on either side are for mending stockings or whatever that they used to do. All right, yes, yeah, fine sheen. Yes, it would make sense, wouldn't it? And the pair of scissors at the front are for um, buttonholes, I think, because they've got a gap in them. Yeah, I see. And the one to the right of that is was for leather work. So I'm not sure. Well, the rest are sort of crochet type things. It isn't the thing to the left of the scissors a button hook? Yeah. Yeah. Could be. Not buttons on boots. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah, I don't know because I've don't, I never used them. But I I like having them. Oh, Diana, all the men behind me agree with that. But the one yep. with the wheel, uh, it, it mm. could be used for, oh, what's that What's that Italian food? 
called Pasta Cutter. <laughs> <laughs> Pasta Cutter, indeed. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> so the thimbles are quite old too. I mean, my mum lived to 98 and so she'd had these probably maybe from her mother as well. Yes, yes. And they're made of silver. Have any of, um, any of them bore into, got holes in where the needles have been pushed through over the years? No. Some of my mothers had holes that did that. I think I've got another picture. Oh, yes. Uh, this was um, a pair of pinky. thinking shears with some eyelet holes, <laughs> and I made it look like a crocodile. They're very clever. Very good. We like that. I called it Jaws. Mm. I can see that. Yes, it says at the bottom, yes. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good. When I first, when I first looked oh. at it, the thing, this... my first thought was crocodile, immediately. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Well, we get crocodiles here. <laughs> you, you could have some blood dripping from the mouth, I suppose. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then this... Um, tool is for darning socks, that wooden tool. Yeah. And I thought it looked like a mushroom. So I've called it darning mushrooms. Yeah. But the book behind um, is a book that I bought a few months ago. Uh, it's mm. illustrations, uh, botanical is illustrations of yeah. fungi. Very good, very good. Fly agar. Fly agar. So I, was quite, I was quite pleased with all of these, actually. And it didn't that, take me long to do. That tools for, for men, mending holes in socks, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It, you put you put it in your sock and you darn your socks. Yeah. That's right. Okay, anything else? Um, what else do you see? No. no more, okay. Um, but I have got my blue skies. Oh, yes, yes, we didn't see that. I didn't show that before. I have to rummage around and find it. Um, oh. um, I can't have more than one PowerPoint open at the time. It's messing it all up. Right, um, so blue skies. I've got it too, you know. You, you, you yes, yeah, you have. It's very much reduced sort of file size, yours. Oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> so this was um, taken at the National Arboretum, which is, I usually walk there from my house. And it takes me about an hour to get there. And we had the arboretum after the last uh, 2003 bushfires and it was redesigned and this is called the eagle's nest and so I took a picture of that looking through at the blue sky and it's a little bit exaggerated uh, I think when it goes into powerpoint but we do get really blue skies here <laughs> Yes, yes, I remember that picture. We've got similar rubbishy picked um, statues in Salisbury. <laughs> so Ooh. that's the eagle. Oh, right, yes. And Quite realistic. this is a man looking up at the sky. <laughs> yes, mm. yes, about to fall over, yes. Well, he doesn't fall over. He's been like that for, eight, for months. Of course. He's made of metal, I expect. And... This is a sculpture called the Wide Brown Land, and I took sections of it. Yes, that's good. Nice, um, what's the word, abstract. Symmetry. I just did a few. Yes, it's a bit like that um, shell on the beach at Alderbury. Not Alderbury, uh, Alder, what's it called? Old Near Southwold. Yes, that one. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. Yes, I've seen lots of pictures like that. And it's a bit also like the uh, thing in Belfast where they've, by their Belfast, they have a museum. They've got a thing with with shapes like that. 
That one I did a bit of editing because uh, it was actually a greeny blue at the bottom, but not at the top. And so I filled in the, the loop with the greeny blue. Ah, very good. Yes. I thought, wonder why there were little, little halos. <laughs> I can see. I thought there was snow on the top for a moment. No. <laughs> oh, and then I did a few trees. And that was on one of the mountains I went up. That's near my house, looking along the branches. Looks like a gum tree to me. It is a gum tree. And that's it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Brilliant. Excellent. Now, what else have we got? Alan Frost has disappeared. Um, did I introduce you to Alan? Yes. Oh, yes, yes. yes. I have to remember that I'm doing it. Oh, I'm on the wrong page now. Oh, not. Right. What's next? Oh, yes. Um, I was trying to find mine, wasn't I? And I failed miserably to find them. So I don't know where I put them. I put them when you're like, oh, perhaps they're not still, perhaps they're still on my original files. Oh, that's a good point. Let's have a look at that. Pictures. Let me share it with you, Mara, because you're not sharing anything at the moment. Um, what would you look at? Screen? Oh, I don't know where you look. We'll come back to that in a minute. Um, is it this one? I've lost track of everything now. Where's it all gone? It's so easy to make a mistake, isn't it, in life? Uh -uh. I'll just roll through my files to 2022 to well, last month, wasn't it? I suppose. Or maybe it wasn't. Yeah, it was last month. It was, was it? It's 8th of July. Yes, yeah, quite right. That would help. I've got June there, though, for some reason. I didn't go to July. Well, I haven't got one for it all. Them. Yeah, yeah, so. Wounds, man, I have tools. Here we go. Nothing there at all. Oh, well, fancy that. I'll put them somewhere. So I'm not there. Take them out of my t there and put them somewhere else. Oh, well, I'll have to go without my tools. But well, you've seen them anyway. Yeah, <laughs> we did. So, um, we took some more um, following last time's um, session. We had it out in the back in the garden over there. <clears throat> we had our lunch there as well, didn't we? Yes, we did. That was good. Uh, and then, and then we, we went. We stayed there for ages. So late. I, I did all my tools in a light box. Uh, I didn't do that. Now I've got something over here though. Just a moment. Copy of tools. I went and gathered the scissors I've got in the house, and um, these are they. Look, mm. Terry, could you um, lift the camera, point it down to there, that camera? Here, here. All right, I'll do that then. The question is, do you have a crocodile there? Uh, yes, here it is. Yes. Yeah, you do. Got a sort of another one as well, a different sort of crocodile one here. That's an alligator. Oh, yes. right, yes. Well, that's just for cutting cutting hair, is that one? The hair, hair scissors, and these are not. And I've got a little miniature one as well, this one here. Tiny little thing. What would you use that for? Very delicate. Like a manicure. manicure. <laughs> I think very small pieces of thread. And this one is my pride and joy. These are my grape scissors. You see the handles? Get near oh, the yes. handle. They've got, um, got uh, grapes um, shapes yes. moulded in. Yes. And the, the point about them is that the edge is stepped. And when you cut it into a stems of, of grapes, it clings onto the stem and doesn't fall down again. So you could, you could snip a little bit off a bunch without falling on the ground. That's the point of it all. And it's gold. I've got a pair of orange handled ones, like in your corner there. Are they Wilkinsons? Oh, I don't know. Um, are they Wilkinsons? We can find out, can't we? It would be written on it if they It's were. written on the blade. I can't, I can't read it. Oops. I can't read it. Yes, yes that's like Wilkinson's sword. Yes, that's yes. Yeah. yes, it is. Yeah, they, they look like mine. Yes. Uh, but then I hate these scissors. Because <laughs> <laughs> the blade is curved and twisted. It's, it's not exactly straight. Um, so... Makes, I think it doesn't work very well. Anyway. Mine, that, mine is straight. I've heard that for years and years and years. <laughs> I thought about making a picture of those. 
so that's my contribution to tools for today. Now, Peter, I'm going to have to leave you. Oh, yeah. I've got a number of phone, urgent phone calls, which I've got to make this morning between 10 and 12. Well, off you go then, Stan. See you. Bye. Okay. Sorry. See you. I'll phone you sometime to find out how the rest of the meeting went. Would you like me to tell you the date of the next meeting now? Well, yeah, which will be for long. The best thing is just send out an invitation when it's. And I'm just, well, just better make sure you know now it's the 2nd of September. What date in September? 2nd. Oh, the 2nd, right. Okay. Right, so and then the 30th of September as well after that. Okay, so I'll say goodbye to everybody. Okay, Stan. Cheers. Bye. Bye, Stan. We'll move on to my new topic now, <laughs> smartphones, which we've been threatening for ages. Um, and it might, might work today. Let's see what we can do. Let me just write that down in my, my book. I know what it's about today. Now we're going to we've got a two two uh, pronged approach on this. We've got Diana, who's on the iPhone end of life, and me with my Android phone. So um, so there are, are probably other phone types as well, but those two major ones uh, are what we will look at. And both they are different from each other. They still take. Yeah. We're talking about only the the camera part of the smartphone. Um, and each of them have their pluses and minuses. Um, I have to say the uh, iPhone one looks pretty good, must admit, does things that mine won't do as a natural thing. But I discovered that, um, well, I'd forgotten really, that you can add a, an application to your smartphone or whatever to make your uh, camera even better than it naturally is. I don't know whether you've added anything, Diana, to yours. No, I haven't. I haven't got around to doing that. I've just been working out what I can do on my phone as as it is. Right. Okay. Um, well, did you want to show yours first? Mm -hmm. yeah. has, has anybody got an iPhone? I have. Or am I going to be talking to myself? No, I've got an iPhone. Oh, that's good. You've got an iPhone? Android. Uh, yes, right. Okay. <laughs> So, so I got I actually put this together for the pro when we were doing projects and I didn't show it because I didn't think it was actually quite so relevant then. Right. Um, so I kept it up tucked up my sleeve for a while. So way back when we were doing projects, I had to get a new iPhone, a new phone. And because I've got an Apple Mac, I decided to get an iPhone. And the first thing I did was to work out how to use it. So this link was sort of really what got me going on it. Okay. So. And did these pictures come from that link? Any of them? No, I did all these myself. Okay, just just checking. Mm. So this is my setup. Can you see the pointer? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So that's the camera. Right. And that's the photos that are within the camera. Okay. And it, it's on my first screen of my iPhone. Yep. And what we've got here is three cameras on. Mine's an iPhone 13 Pro, and it's got three cameras on it, yeah. which is why I bought it. Right. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is go through photo mode, which is this this one yep. and so I'll just quickly show you what I've got on there I was going to co cover photo portrait and pano but photo will be in more detail this is the flash which I've turned off this is um, the night mode because I've got the camera facing back on its case so it thinks it's in night mode oh, I see and now where is it? This one's called Eye View, and I'll go through that in a minute. And in order to see what functions you've got in photos, you click on this thing, 
and now it's gone down that way. So what I'm going to cover is the flash, the night mode, the eye photos. This is called um, tones. This is the size and this is exposure. Now, because you can't get it all on one and I have to slide things along that way. We've also got the um, timer, of timer and filters. Right. And this, this one down the bottom, the, you know, where's it gone? Here. Sorry. This one. That one, yeah. That's a selfie. And that's the button you press to take the photo. Yeah. I've right. got a point of similarity. I've got a button that you can press to take photos as well. Mm. Yeah, it's really quite clever, isn't it? <laughs> that's all I've got. <laughs> I've got two. I've got two on mine. I've got one that's floating. But anyway, carry on. So, this is the. Um, oh, hang on, I'll just go back again. If you look here, you've got point five, three, and uh, one and three. Yes. And this is taken on point five, which is zooms out ultra wide. The that middle one, which is one, is a standard default setting. And the one on the right here is um, three, which is an optical zoom or a macro. Right. So with the this one, th one on the right. On the right. Which, yeah, it's, you, I've zoomed right into it. That setting three will go 15 times, but after reaching the point of three, three times, it goes into a dig the digital zoom kicks in and it gets very grainy and it degrades the quality of the photos. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, okay, thank you. That's good. And what I can do with my phone is if you look at this picture, that's the default setting. If I go up to within a centimeter of the actual object, it the phone will kick in and it will flip and it will go as really, really close, which is this bit on the right here is this bit here. Yes, that little bit there. It's a really good, it's got a really good macro. Mm. Do you know where those little black lines are on the, on the, on the... Yeah, they're, it's called scribbly bark and it's a little parasite that goes into the bark. Ah, okay. Because I'm reading a tree book and it talked about those sort of lines, but that was for a different purpose. That was when that um what was it? No, when fungus attacks a tree, um, the tree tends to put in these edge edge polymers or something in the trunk to stop the fungus going any further. So you get black lines like maps almost, a bit like that. Mm. So gum trees are prone to having like these, it looks like someone scribbled on them. Yeah. Mm. And it goes all the way up the top, up all up the bark from the trunk. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is the size of the photo, which can be, this is the default size, which is 4.3. This is a square 1.1. And then this is the large size. So I've just tried out everything as, as I went through the, the online YouTube. You're so these are logical than you are, and indeed, Diana, much more than me. Very <laughs> hmm? much more logical than me. You're doing this sort of thing. Yeah. Now, can I ask? Do you have an ordinary camera as well? Yeah, I've got um, I've got an Olympus OM one, right, and I've got an Olympus OM ten. Right. So why why do you find the need to use uh, a phone camera as well? Because I do a lot of bushwalking and I can't carry okay. um, cameras with me. Right, okay. That I can understand. And I find it a lot easier. The, ca the, the camera you've got with you is the, the best camera. <laughs> and I always have a phone with me. Okay. So this was looking at the, t the tones, the warm tones. And you can use a slider to move a, from one to the other. And I think the two, the warm, the vibrant warm and the warm look very similar, but the standard and the rich, rich. warm look quite different. Vibrant, yes, yeah. yes. 
And then this is the cool tone, which was uh, taken a few months ago on the local hills. You've they, added... they were very, very much in the distance. Yes, yes. Then there's the exposure setting. Um, so the centre one's the default. So if you want uh, more exposure, you can do a plus one or a plus two, or you can do a minus one and a minus two. And you can see that they all look a bit different. Yes, yeah, indeed, yes. So that's exposure compensation, really, isn't it? Mm, yeah. And then these are the filters. Um, so there were 10 filters. There are only about five of the tones that I showed you earlier. Um, this is the default one. And you can see they're all a little bit different. Yep. And then... Oh, my phone. Excuse me. It's my daughter ringing. What should I do? Ignore her. To no, go, go for it. <laughs> You're busy. Yes, I know. She's in Australia, though. Oh. So, there she is. Morning, Sarah. I'm uh, busy um, busy doing things here at the moment. Talking to us. Good morning. Hello, Sarah. All sorts of people here. Um, I'm on a Zoom thing. It's Friday morning. Why are you ringing me? I thought I might have in just before you went on. That was all, but I'll talk to you tomorrow night instead. Okay. Well, it's, it's quarter so, hello, Sarah. I'm in Australia as well. Oh, is that Diana? That's it. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I can't pin up. I'm coming up your way, actually, um, in about two weeks. Oh, well, the weather's quite nice at the moment. Probably better than it is down there. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, it rained. We had 100 millimetres yesterday. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're having some nice weather here, so we'll hopefully keep it that way for you. <laughs> we yeah, could... well, we're going out to do the dinosaur trails. Ah, yes. yes. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Well, we could do with 100 millimetres here. We've had no rain for, I don't know, when was the last time it rained? Weeks, yeah. We've had a little drizzle bits, drizzly bits, but nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing at all. But um, my garden's still yeah. green, as you may be able to see. Um, Anyway, so tomorrow night I'm running oh, a wine and nibbles evening again. Okay. Well, maybe Sunday night then. If I can slot you in, you can slot me into your diary. I'll talk to you then. <laughs> All right, Sarah. Thanks for calling. Bye. Bye. Oh, dear. Oh, better rate the call. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, Diane, about, about that. Um, we're in the middle of filters. We've done the first set, and this is the second set, and... This is the third third set. So you, the the filters are quite different. So I'll just go through them. That silver tone one was it reminded me of one of those funny ones on um, what's it called? The um, program that does it. It's a, an American term. It's not called silver tone. It's a different name. Without looking, I can't remember. I, mm, know. I know what you mean. So this was, uh, these were a couple I took at night. Um, and the, it, when you take a picture at night, the... We can see you and not the pictures at the moment. The setting will come on for you. We're not, you're not sharing at the moment. Yes, she I'm is. not sharing. I can see it. Top. Oh, at the top. Double oh. click at the Oh, I see what I've done. Yes. Oh, how confusing it is. I've got, yes, side by side. That's better. Yes, right. So, sorry, carry on. I made an error there. Is okay, it... so that's the back garden at, at night. Yep. And I was quite impressed with the amount of um, light that the camera took, the phone took in. Does that so, just push the ISO up? Yeah. Pardon? Does that just push the ISO up? Um, I th it, it gives it um, longer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you need sure. to have it. Do you mount your ca uh, camera on any your phone on anything like a tripod? Um, I have got a little mini tripod that will take a phone. This is there. It is. Yeah. Too small. But I don't use it. I just handhold them. That's very good for handheld. That's what I like. It is. Mm. 
Yes, yes, well, I must try that. So I can also do a raw setting, and I couldn't find out how to do that to start with. And so I went back into the YouTube video and worked it out. So you have to go into the settings on the on the phone. You go to the camera one and then the formats, and this is this is the format setting. And lo and behold, you've got Apple Pro Raw. Is that so, why well, you brought the Pro version to get that facility? I think probably you do, because I don't think I had it on my last one, the one that broke. Okay. So if you click on that button, it will put it into RAW. So I, oh, I tried it out, and the file size was about 27 megabytes. Amazing. And it worked well in um, Photoshop. I had problems transferring the image from my phone to my computer files. It kept saving as a JPEG, which is not what I wanted. I wanted it as a raw file. Yeah, yeah. And so then I went into get info and it showed me how to save it directly into Photoshop. And then I converted it back to a JPEG when I finished working on it. Oh. Mm. I, I've got an old 6S, but uh, I've just had a look. I can't change any formats. She must have just the standard, whatever it does, JPEG. Mm. You can actually download apps with RAW, but I mean, I was just glad to, I've got it on my phone now. It, it comes with the phone. Mm. So there's a burst mode, and I tried that out earlier today. And you use that, you just the white button that you take the photos with, you pull it over to the left-hand side and it will do burst mode. Right. Because I'm not fact, to do that accidentally. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> okay. The flash I normally keep off because I, I never really needed it. Yeah. Um, it will do – this is for Terry. It will do a, a focus. It, it's set to autofocus, but if you hold part of the screen – and you can actually, if you hold it for a, a bit longer, it will lock that area in as a focus point. Mm -hmm. And um, it also brings up a little grid with, so you can change the exposure as well. Oh, so you move the sun. Mm. <laughs> so live view, it, it does a little video for a few seconds before the photo and a few seconds after the photo. Oh, yes, yes. And you can use that for, if you're taking a big group and not everyone's smiling, you can sort of go through it and try and find a spot where everybody's smiling, is smiling and then edit out the bits you don't want. Um, so the white buttons for taking photos. You can also use the volume buttons taking photos um and there's a timer which is three seconds or ten seconds right and then portrait mode has got six choices of Apple. lighting of lighting and, uh, yeah different natural different settings for lighting um it's got f stops mm. which is pretty good and again you you just push up the button there to get all the options the tools right and then i didn't have anyone at hand to <laughs> photograph and so I, I had to get my 70 year old teddy bear out the cupboard can you go back one was that f4 to f16 diana uh, F1.4 to 16, yeah. Thank you. So this little guy, I was just showing the different um, size of the photo you can get on that. You can't get macro because you're taking portraits. Right, yes, yes. Mm. Which is logical. So this is a set of all the lighting set, set, uh, settings. Oh, I see, stage light, yes. So this was using depth of field, so I did a 2.8. Still in the portrait, uh, yes. For, that's the, the default setting, and that was 16. So you can see if you look at the right-hand side, 
it's more in focus at the back and the f2.8 is less in focus was this did you produce these images after taking the, the original photograph no this this was what came out of the phone i we I'm, I'm sure on mine i can change it afterwards oh yeah you can you can no. That's the in the editing. Um, right, well, no, not actually, but anyway, go on. Are you still there? We're still yes. here. We're waiting. Yeah, so I tried out the pano mode. Yep. And you can slide it. You you take you set the you press the button and then move the camera around, or you can actually reverse that and do it the other way. And vertically? Um, I don't think so. I haven't tried that one. So what I did on this mountain when I was going up it a few months ago, I tried, I did it, um, the top one is iPhone Pano, and the bottom one was I did the same thing, but taking seven photos and then joining them in Photoshop using Photo Merge. All right. Well, well. And I actually think the one below... Is a bit sharper than the one above. Yeah. Yes, it does look a little bit, yes. But that's remarkably good, though, isn't it? Both of them. Mm. Yeah. And then there's all the editing. So this was a picture I took with RAW. Uh, so you go into one of your photos oh, I see. from the photo screen. And this was one that I looked at. And you've got all these different things oh, yeah. that you can do to edit a photo, all within the phone. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't add any apps or anything. This was all there. So I don't know if you want me to read them all out, but you can have a look at them all. I can read it. <laughs> okay. Yes. Auto correction, exposure, brilliant. So the the picture you've got on the right. With the auto correction, was it? Um, I think it was actually, but um, I'm going to show you another one that I did from what what it was like before and what it was like after. Um, I haven't used the red eye reduction. I haven't worked out where that is. You don't but need. That's the only one I haven't used. You don't use flash. You don't need it. No, that's true. So this was before, and this is after. Mm. So you brings out the contrast in the greens. And you... well, I did. I did. I sort of worked my way through quite a lot of the facilities, and I did the big net in the corners and things as well. Yeah. And increase the saturation. I just, I just played around with it. Yeah, it's better. I think. Very good. <laughs> I hope so. And these are some examples of photos I've taken using my phone. That that was there's some figs in the National Arboretum, and that one was one that I did using your lick of paint. Oh yes. So it brought out the colours. Yeah. And that that was also using a lick of paint. That was that was Sheila's uh, Sheila's little. Um... There was a, uh, a thing that my wife devised to produce photographs to improve, boost the colours. And I things. really like it. A bit of lick of paint. <laughs> All right. So these are called Everlastings. Yeah. 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 And these are less than, they're only a few millimetres in size, those flowers and the berries. And that's how good the macro is. Yeah. Mm. That's very good. Mm. And there's um, a, oh, I, are some fungi. Mm. Amanita muscaria. Is that, is that the same as fly agaric, is it? No, it's not the same shape, but that, it's the same sort mm, of colour. Amanita's right, but muscaria, I can't remember. Yeah, no. Anyway. That, that one on the right is a coral fungi. Yeah. Um, the one on... Uh, the left is showing all the little spores. I got really, really close to it. Oh. And 
the one on the right, those were only about a centimetre in size. Yeah, yeah. What I find very interesting is if you compare that with the same photos, if you try to take it with your SLR. I have actually done exactly that. I work at Geoscience Australia on a Monday and I took a photo using my camera, the Olympus EM1, and then I took the same thing using my phone and the phone wasn't as good. Well, good. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> and that's that's out the back of me. I lived near a hill, and I just went up the hill, and that's nearby. Oh. That's a very nice part of the world, isn't it? That. Mm. That's no, I think you've seen that one before um, with the solarization. Yes, yes, ja jungle, ja jungle, and that ja jungle. <laughs> Yeah, and that was a couple of weeks ago at uh, in Central Australia. Did you walk through that gap? <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, it looks very small, but... <laughs> it's huge. Oh, right. It, it, that's uh, dingo safety. Yes, I'm sure, yes. Stay calm, stand tall and maintain eye contact. Do not run or wave your arms. Back away slowly. Hmm. Or that was it. That was in Central Australia at the old Telegraph Station. And this is some of my trains. I went on that train at the top, but these oh. below it are um, historic ones. Yeah. Yes. So it's been going a while, has it? The GAN. Yeah. Um. I can't remember when it started now. Well, anyway, very good set Thank very much indeed. Um, very which, good exercise. In, we endured all of that, I think. That yeah. was my project that I was going to show, but I didn't, and um, I've added to it since. Well, I'm not quite sure how to, to produce a similar thing to you. I mean, I've, I've got the things on my phone, look, this, you know, with your screen with them. So you must have photographed that separately somehow. I, I did screenshots um, to of, of my phone, the... So you've been, okay. held your phone up to something and photographed it? No, no. no. Well, I did try that, and then I realised I could just take literally a screenshot by pressing the two sides together. Okay. And it, it takes its own photo. Can I do that? I wonder. You should be able to. I so. I've, I've had problems in trying to do that. Ah, I don't know how to do that. So my ignorance is profound, really, on some of these points. <laughs> um, so... Well, the only way to work it out is to get YouTubes and follow them through and try it out. It's like a camera. You've got to learn how to deal with it. Yeah, right. Well, let's go back. You to press the... the start key and um, the volume key at the same time. I yeah. And do it. Start key and the start key. So this... one, one on either side. And the, well, so yeah, yeah but... that's exactly what I do. And you have to do it quickly. Uh, start key is here and the volume's there. Oh, okay. So yeah, you, you press same. those two. Ah, uh, mine, mine are on the opposite sides. So, uh, yeah, I, I can't. I'm... It does beg the question whether our cameras in phones are going to finally replace SLRs. There is a suggestion that they will when the AI gets better and the, mm. they're developing new um, chips at the moment and that um, they're not in the production stage. Um, I forget who it is that's developing them. I think it's Sony. And um, they're, they're going to be much... Um, uh, the resolution is going to be much better. And the AI in the phone will be much better as well. And it's mm. that sort of two years' time, um, we shall see the benefits. But quite whether they will be as good as um, the SLR or mirrorless, I don't know. So I, I did, as I said earlier, I did do that experiment of taking um, my rocks at geos, geoscience yeah. on <laughs> my camera and against the phone and the phone wasn't as good. It was, wasn't bad, but it wasn't quite as sharp. A few For most people, it's good, they're going to say they're good enough, aren't they? It's probably for the general public 
It's the size of the chip that you've got to worry about, isn't it? On the manufacturing mm -hmm. after, yes. Right. Um, what will we say? You, you, you didn't get through. So. Um, have you tried printing to um, at least A3, Diana? Mm -hmm. uh, what, from my phone? Yes. Um, no, I haven't, but I have got an A3 printer. Yeah, I, I wondered um, how a print quality um, compares with from a DSLR or mirrorless um, of a similar type photograph. Um, I did have some thing that wasn't A3, but I don't know if I can find it. Oh, this was one that I did. This is bark. Um, well, I'll turn it sideways. Um, bark on trees. Yeah. And that's uh, an A4, but I, I'm, and I did that from my phone. Hmm, I've never, I haven't done one at all, and never done a print from my phone yet. <laughs> Must get around to it. Oh, so much to do, and so little time to do it. Thank you, Diana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll try that out. I'll let you know. Anyway, let me share um, something with you if I can get around to the thing working properly. I was going to show the, uh, where's it gone? Is it that one? This one. Try that one. Yes, can you? Oh, no, that's the wrong thing, isn't it? How did I get there? I'm working on onward next next time. Uh, it should have a picture of a document. Yes, yeah, smart phone yeah. camera usually. Yeah, well, I'm going to send that to you. That's, that's all. Um, so these very links I've put on that you can look at, but you don't need to do that, Alan, of course. Um, this was this was how do I use the basic functions of my smartphone camera <laughs> and settings for Android something or other camera settings. And then for my phone, I've got this this manual, I suppose. Oh, no, that's down here. Yeah. Uh, then separating the focus area and the exposure area on the same. You can apparently do that. Should there be another gap in there or something? Why has it got a wriggle? Still got a wriggle. Oh, strange. No, it? it hasn't. No, it hasn't, no. I'll save it as it is right now. <laughs> um, so those are a few things. That one on video usage. Um, we haven't talked about video on iPhones uh, uh, or anything. Oh No, I ignored the video because they, I'm not really into videos. So I think Janet is just arriving. You can't spell capabilities. Oh, well, 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 what? what? Me? Where's that then? Oh, there. Yeah. What's wrong? Capability. I've missed an eye out. Yeah. I'll just save that again. It is Janet. Hello, Janet. Hello. She's come here. She she couldn't come till this time, so. You've missed the majority of the morning. <laughs> I've, I've stopped sharing, have I? No, you have now. Somewhere, right. somewhere on here is is there's Janet. <laughs> Janet, this is this is Nigel. Oh, hello. I don't know where you live, Nigel. Aldebury. Aldebury, right? It's not the way that one. The Green King, the uh, Green Dragon. I mean, yeah, that's where the, the pub is. Um, an important bit of the town, the village. That's where there's a blue badge guide as well, which is somewhere up there. And Roger Kent, he lives there. Uh, and so, uh, right, where are I'm we? I'm talking. What is he? Oh, I didn't know that. Right. Um, What's on your mug, Diana? Uh, oh, right. right. Sorry, you're muted. Yeah, it's not my fault. Yes, yes. And I, it's I get that. a geological yeah. fault. Yeah. Yeah. I, I take it to work with me. <laughs> Very geological, yes. Right. Um, I was going to share something with you if I can find out which one it was. I think it's that one at the bottom there. Now, which one is it that I'm using? Oh, that'll be that one. Let's try that. Oh, that's the text, isn't it? I've got that one already. Forget that one. Um, try the, must be that one then, must it? Oh, that's yours. Oh, this this is the one I want. Yes. So we see that. Not sharing. No. I thought I was. And let's, how do I get back to sharing? Share. What do I share? I see. 
What is that? How much one do I click for sharing? Perhaps it's that one. That's not it. That's oh, this. <laughs> this is one I'll show you later. This is what Terry sent me. A little link called Photoshop Tutorials: A Hundred Editing Tips, which is quite a lot. I've only I've only to glance at a little bit of it at the moment. I only found it last night, so um, I haven't managed to get through it yet. But certainly, there was one interesting in there um, that came up with soft light meter um, and a portrait, and then using a black and white um, uh, layer, and then using soft light like we used um, last week in DI. Right. Yes. Okay. Right. Um... We're talking about smartphones occasionally. Are you a smartphone? Yes. If you moved a bit to the... No, I'm, I'm fine. I can see you. No, but you... I'm, I'm covering you, you see. Oh, that's fine. Nobody needs to see me. <laughs> I can see the screen. So modest. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get to this particular screen. I can't seem to get to it for some reason. There seem to be lots of places. Oh, it says three, it's doesn't it? white thing. Ah, I know what it says. Three in brackets there. So if I do that, get to that screen and then change to... Somehow changed to a different screen. The little one is the one you're looking for. Oh, does it? Can you see that now? Yes. Manuals no. and downloads. Can you see? It says manuals and downloads. Yes. Right. This is, this is a bit confusing. This bit of zoom. Right. Um, yes. This is this is uh, for my phone, my Galaxy A twenty one S, where you get a manual and you can click it down here, and uh, so there you are. Once you've done it, you can you've got it. I've got that somewhere. I've opened it before, and the manual is. You might as well look at it. Can you still see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there are lots of pages, <laughs> and uh, lots of things on the camera. There, there's a sit yeah. bit on the camera. So the click yeah, on that. The interesting bit. Then. What? No. Interest. Oh, I see. Um, this is tells you how to how I use the camera. She went right through the detail of it. So um, I don't Very know whether. So it's very similar to yours, Di. I mean, the same sort of picture, isn't it? There's the button. Yeah, yeah. you've got the button to press. <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, then there was this about selecting the lens, ultra-wide and basic, and uh, shoot, shooting modes. Uh, oh, this, the, when you slide the fingers sideways, it switches from portrait to photo to, to pro and video, if you're not careful. And then there was a photo mode of taking selfies. You double click it and whatever, and say, take yourself. Same sort of thing. Um, and you can do all these beauty beauty effects as if that's necessary. Uh, video mode that um, you see, not much you can change in video mode. You can't change the resolution, I don't think. Uh, you need to go to an application on, separate on that. Live focus. What's that? You use a live video, not live view, not live focus. There's a difference, I guess. Mine was, uh, yeah, it, it did a short video at the beginning. And oh, the end that's right, yeah. This is not the same. No, this is just I don't know, taking portraits that stand out. With, I think that's where you can change the depth of field or whatever, I think. I'm well, not quite clear what that is without trying. I haven't had time to do all these things. The pro mode is really wanting to do manual. Uh, work manual settings. You can set, select the ISO and the white balance and the exposure values. I Which, haven't seen on my one any mention of ISO. Oh, it right. must be there somewhere. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it is. Um, and then, oh, this was the one. Yeah, this is where you separate the focus and the exposure area, which I mentioned on that script. And it talks about moving your finger across like that to just, just change it, separate the focus and the exposure areas at the same time, which I thought was pretty clever. So you're, you're self-focusing, I think, as well. I don't know. And then you've got a panoramic mode like you've had, and much the same. And the macro mode, the macro mode on, on this camera is pretty good as well. Staggeringly good, in fact. But then they've got a food mode, which I've never used. <laughs> For taking food with more vibrant colours. Actually, Diana, a long time ago, we had a, a whole thing on food, taking food photographs, didn't we, Terry? Yes, we did. Now, in fact, I even made a, an extra website to contain all our food pictures. And we got an external speaker to talk about taking food photographs. 
Yes, we did. He came here and sat here and told us how to do it. Was it was that yeah, this, it was Zoom time, wasn't it? Uh, yes. It was live here. So yes. We, yes. Mm. Did he have something to eat while he was there? Uh, no, we starved, we starved him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. It was a long while ago now. I was saying, I'm just uh, spinning off the word food. Yes, I know. And then with this deco pick mode, and, and that's just where you add stickers on your pictures and things, which you know, a bit pointless. Um, then you can do various other options. Would you know all those? Select the aspect ratio. You could do that easily enough. Adding filters while you're taking the photographs. Just changing the aspect ratios, like you showed us. Mm -hmm. Selecting the metering. Um, you didn't mention that, did you? No, but is that? to do with um, just yeah. the light metering. Yeah, centre-weighted spot and matrix, those three there. Mm -hmm. uh, and in food, there's another version of it there, apparently. And in the food mode, you can, food mode, you can adjust the colours as well. So there are funny funny few things there. Um, yeah, you've, you're making me think about what's not happening on my phone. So I should write some notes and try and find out whether they, they just, do exist somewhere. Just, just watch the video when I send it to you. Don't go keep losing my videos. <laughs> do you get these these pictures, H E I F pictures on your on your iPhone? Yes, I do. I can set it to that. Right. So um on one of the screens that I showed, when I went into the raw setting, it had high efficiency as well. There's also uh, for the same thing for video, H-E-V-F, I think it is. Mm. Um, but I mean, oh, I'll probably told you here, there it is, H-E-V-F, which I've never used, I don't think. High efficiency video. It's quite I've a, set uh, my high efficiency to a standard one rather than having the high efficiency one. Well, they, they put this comment, you cannot play the high the HEVC on other devices or share them online. So you think, well, what's the point? <laughs> hmm. um, there's got to be a, a good reason for it. If it's high efficiency, presumably it's smaller files, which presumably in some way you can convert back to... I, I, I just don't want to go down that one and fiddle no, around. No, I've always avoided it too. There's auto HDR. You didn't mention that either, did you? No, I'm writing these down. <laughs> I'll, I'll check them out. <laughs> Um, pictures as previewed. Save the device to save photographs as they appear on the preview screen when taken from the front camera without flipping them. If you can understand that, you can put grid lines on the location tags. That's another thing. Attaching the GPS location to your photographs. Presumably, you can do that. Um, I, yes, it does tell me where they they were taken. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I see. In in words. Um, in words. Yeah. In select, the info section. Select shooting Ooh. methods. Select additional shooting methods for shooting photos or record. Mine's very nice. And then storage for storage location. Well, select the memory location for storage. Well, that seems reasonable. Yeah. Um, yes, I must I must get some more memory on mine for mine. I'm running out. <laughs> um, it's a 32 gigabyte memory on the phone itself, and I've added another 16 gigabytes little micro chip thingy. 125 they go up to. Must, oh yes, I must lash out and get some more. Uh, then that's, that's about the camera. Then, and then the gallery. Oh, or, watermarks. I oh, sorry, I've forgotten about that. Yes, add a watermark. I've never done that. Yes. No. I can do that on my camera, but I can't. I haven't seen it on the phone. Amazing. I didn't realise it was on my phone either. Thank you for pointing it out. <laughs> Uh, gallery, yes. Well, that's when you look at the pictures afterwards. Um, so it's a separate separate uh, program, really, isn't it? They call it Gallery App. Uh, you tap pictures and you just go through the pictures. Oh, it says you can create a GIF or create a collage, collage by tapping the three dots. Again, the usual thing. Apparently, you can search the gallery. I mean, there's so much on these things, isn't there? Um, I haven't really gone through all of this, but this is the way the videos play back. You can control them forward and back, skip to the next video, or what well, would be annoying, really, if you didn't want to do that. 
<laughs> you can't make it go a little bit further, can you? Except by dragging it. It says you can do that. Yes, drag the bar. And you can lock the playback screen. Things I've never really done. This is all new to me as well. <laughs> drag your fingers up and down on the left-hand side of the screen to adjust the brightness. Drag your fingers up and down on the right-hand side to adjust the volume. And clever little things like that. So that's that. And then you've got albums, which you can hide. You can look at stories. And you can delete them. Recycle the, using the recycle bin feature. A feature. Mm. A multi-window. Um, yes, I see. Well, this is nothing to do with photography now, is it? As such. Which we were only looking at uh, photography before. But presumably, if you've got a multi screen, you could then have a photograph and text at the same time. That's a very amazing thought, isn't it? Um, so I think that's enough because it's all to do with other things now calendars, just listening to the radio. Yes, I think we'll stop. <laughs> I can see that I have to stop it. Right. Yes, well, that's that. Um, what else we got on here? Oh yes, um, there was some videos. Got oh that's yours. That's the manual. Yes, I've got all that. Don't want any of that. But I've got on one of these things a video running at the moment. I think got that one. Oh yes, this one here. That was. Oh yes, that's the one I wanted. So go back to the beginning. Right. Um, where am I? Um, on um, because most things are on your camera already, your your smartphone, but you can augment that. Because, for instance, I don't think I've got RAW on mine, but there are external programs or applications that will do that for you or allow you to do that. So if I just get the right one here, uh, oh, I need to I need to forget to do the share bit. Um, then we'll do it. So it was that one, wasn't it? Uh, which is oh, one of these Google ones. Again, I've got to get the right Google one. <laughs> so it's not that one. It must be that one. Oh, no, that's something else, is it? I'm trying to stop my phone being queued up all the time. That's another little problem I've got. Um, oh, that must be it. Where's it gone? I've lost it. I'll get rid of that. Oh, this is the one. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Yes. This was a video called Open Camera, which is one of those applications I've mentioned. And this is a little video about how it all works. So this tells you really how this application... In part one of a cool apps video, oh. we showed you guys a glimpse of the Open Camera app. Oh, I forgot it was... You guys seem to like it. Indian so voice. here we are today with a <laughs> video on it. Hey guys, I want to hear from C4E Tech. And if you do end up liking it, yeah, please moving. turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get started. So that wasn't really the one I wanted to show you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's very nice. And I must must watch this because I know I haven't really watched it yet. So there's things he's got on there that sound interesting. Um, yeah, where was it now? There's another another video I found. Or was it this one? Ah, yes, this one. Tottenham are going to win the league. <laughs> minus. Ads will end in four seconds, two seconds, one second. Video will begin in four seconds. We'll get there in the end. This is another open app thing. This, this, this is a uh, open app again, open camera again. Sorry, and this is on the. Uh, we did a video talking about the best camera apps on Android, and we narrowed it down to two. For free apps, we picked Open Camera, and for paid apps, we picked Cinema 4K. In this video, we're gonna take a look at all the settings and the setup for Open Camera so that you can get the best results with your videos. Now, it's really important to note here that this video isn't a complete review. It's also not gonna cover off every feature in the app. There's way too many, but what we are gonna do is show you step-by-step step how to set up Open Camera for the best results for filming your videos. All right, that's the video. But I'm sure there must be a similar video uh, for taking photographs with this particular application. And he went, I did look a little bit of this. It's quite a long, quite a long thing. Eight, well, it's only eight minutes, but it's too long for watching now, I think. So it's worth, I'll send that link to you. I think, did I put it on that sheet of paper? I don't think I did, did I? Um, it's a YouTube video. 
Um, let me have a look. Let's get this open camera. YouTube would get it, wouldn't it? Yeah, but, um, I did. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there it is. That's, I have put it on there. Um, come on, back, back. Oh, what's the matter with it now? Yes, it's a different different numbers down there. <laughs> they change the video all the time. Yes. So anyway, I'll try and remember to send that to you as well. <sighs> And uh, what was this one? Um, oh, that was something else. Oh, yes. Um, do you remember Ipernity? Yes. I always thought that was better better than uh, than um, what's the other one we use? <laughs> That's amazing how you forget these things, isn't it? We've gone through so many, Peter, that um, they sort of blur in the back of the brain. No, it must have it on. Must must be around, mustn't it? What is Ipernity? Well, it's a way of putting your pictures on. Um, if I go back to the beginning, you said. Uh, I've got some of my photographs on here. Can you see this, anybody over there? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this was a, a way of doing it instead of um, that other ghastly one we have to use all the time that the camera club used. Fast something? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't know what they were using. I can't remember what um, they were using. It was, um, oh, I can't remember it. Uh, terrible. Anyway, this this was I thought much nicer to use. You could put them into albums. Those are the albums there. Look, so I did one on black and white, one on infrared, one on shapes, and one one on steam cars. I put all those on, and um, we could, we could look at all the photographs as well. And you could do quite a lot of it for free. So there's my my serial ones there. Did I think I had an album for serial. It was much easier to use than um, than uh, the other one, which well, I can't remember. I can't remember. I, must remember. I can't remember what it was. We we've used so many different applications. This is a normal one that you use every day. That's very popular, and is very awkward to use. I always think. I have to. I've remember. not heard of this one before. No, I know it's. Um, well, there's a certain amount of free images you can get on. Then you pay as you do for everything else. But I thought the the free thing was pretty good. And if you look at, um, I can probably show you this how it works. There, well, there's picture one. These are my serial set of pictures here, both before and after. You see, and then uh, this one here. This is this is part of Italy, of course. And um, so, uh, as you can see, these these are all people taken at different places. <laughs> I stuck them on there. And this is this is um, uh, this is a person in the high street. He was in the market. This was a bit of <laughs> moss, and this was was a, the gateway to somewhere in Salisbury. And I think this was a, a tombstone. That was it. That was a co complex picture. That one. And this was a young lady. I asked if I could photograph in Marks and Spencers. I don't think you meant to do that, really. But it's differential focusing there. Um, and then this was another one. This is um, the town hall in Belfast. That's now got a big dish in the middle of it. And there's that same woman again. And there's another one here. Um, this is a bit look a bit like Alan that's shown there. <laughs> and then I did this one. Oh, this is um, this is after Dali. Yeah. We did a whole section on Dali. On the clock, isn't he? And I did found this tree. This was taken in Suffolk. This is a my father's old watch. Here it is again. Um, this was a stone taken in Gloucestershire or somewhere. This was a little box I've got in the garage. And there's another, that's a drawer I opened to photograph. And this is a woman in Santander. <laughs> and she's got a paintbrush in her hand. So that was a combination. <laughs> and the background is a pho film photograph on the Isle of Egg. Or so, no, the Isle of Lewis. Harris. Harris. Get it right. So it's a pretty, uh, this was a uh, one in Wales, <laughs> down the mine. So that was, again, several pictures put together. And this is another one. Uh, I've got a checkerboard in the background. My father's no, oh, these are different watches. That's my father's watch. This is <laughs> taken in a shop window, skeleton from somewhere. And this guy and I made him droop. I bent him in between the two pictures. So, and we, we were doing book titles. Only time will tell. You see that one. So that was what that was. That was one I did with tulips. Uh, these. Faces here were all faces they've got in the museum. They've got these little statues 
little heads about um, six inches high. And I plonked them onto various other people and put them on the beach in um, in, South, in Dorsetshire. And this was a woods not far away. And this was a, a set of cubes I uh, constructed. And this was a woman taken in the museum with an umbrella. And then another Italian one. And this woman just That's lay down on, the, on her back in the sun. And she had a key on her lap just there. <laughs> I thought it was rather amusing. Um, that's a guy which you can't really look, climbing a wall. So that wasn't very good. This is one I was trying to do and never really worked. Um, but I have to try these things. These are two guys. This is this is Lewis, and that's a little peat hut, peach cutter's hut. And um, I don't know where the two guys were. Oh, I put a frame around it as well. This orange little frame around that square, just to make it different. That was that didn't work. These are well, there's that the peach cutters hut again, but with a flag I found somewhere, and then another one that doesn't really work, and another one that's not really finished. Uh, oh, this was a on the the the, the train across the, under the um, channel, the channel train. We were in a coach, and I was on the front seat, so I was able to take photographs. And who will get in the way? But this old lady with <laughs> this giant. Uh, it's amazing that you can find in these tunnels. And this was um oh this was a this was in near Redditch, and this was in the the the, um, the close here. And this was a great big ball falling down. You see, I tried to make it look as if it's moving. Mm, and then oh yes, the meerkats and ants. I photographed ants, and they're very difficult. They're very small things, and not easy to to separate from the background they have. Anyway, I did my best. Um, and that is another of these. Um, this is a this is a rock. This is a rock in the Isle of Egg, and this was in Yorkshire. And there was a little shadowy figure in the background. Yes, is that all of them are? That's all there are. I'm afraid that's all of my serial photographs and eternity. That really, well, you don't want to see that, do you? Really? I thought they were good. <laughs> homework. I don't know what we're going to set for homework. Uh, using your smartphone and producing some results, I suppose. Mm. I've that. done that. I oh, know you've done it already. You've done your home. So when you sorry, the of time flies. I know fruit flies. Yeah, well, you think you've seen my results because that blue plaque was taken on my iPhone. Yes, all oh, right. Yes, well, let's have another one. Perhaps you ought to take the camera into the kitchen and we show everybody where the coffee and the tea is. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> right, somewhere I took some photographs this morning when I was walking around the um, the, uh, the tennis courts for a bit of exercise. Um, well, I did several photographs. How am I going to possibly show them to you? Oh, there they are. Well, it's got a sort of patterning on it. So I don't know whether you can see that. that that's, um, I thought that was a sort of still life. <laughs> Yeah. Real barrows. Uh yeah. Well, there were some tools on that one. So I ran the wrong way, but there were some tools on that. That's not very exciting. Um what I was trying to get to was uh, this one. Oh, there's my scissors. I took <laughs> the scissors. Mm. See that's swiveled round. I need to swivel it round back again, don't I? Which I guess is that one. That's better, yes. Yes, but you've seen the scissors. Yes. There they are. Yes. Um, so I did that this morning using um, trying to use this open camera to take them with. Okay, open camera sort of thing. So I took the the, um, the, the wheelbarrows. I did did it with those. One thing I didn't say about my iPhone is that if you change the settings, you need to remember to send them back to the default oh, right. setting. Otherwise, you'll be really oh, stuck. All right, yeah. ten more four. Well, it's a standard how sharp it was. I guess this isn't sharp on the camera, is it? Very limited. That was, I thought, amazingly sharp considering from the size of the picture. So, um, yes, we'll have to get around to figuring out how to present them better. Because I, if you can take photographs of the screen, as I've been told, if you can take photographs of the screen, as I've been told, self self is the actual screen. I don't know anything about that. But it's, a one inch it's called a screenshot. 
So right. if, you, if you look it up, you would find out how to do it. But, um, but mostly you do them pressing two sides of your phone. I've done that and it switched it off. <laughs> it's now blank. <laughs> <sighs> As I said in the chat, when all else fails, read the manual. Yeah. I didn't see it on the manual just then, but that was for the cam. That was for, yes, it's, I didn't look at all of it, did I? I only looked at the, photo, the camera bit of it. Yes, the manual. I read your bit on the manual at the chat session. Oh, right. Yes. So we'll have to we'll have to burrow more deeply into these smartphone things. Plenty more to learn, isn't there? For all of us. Mm -hmm. I've got a, uh, a big tripod there with a thing to hold the smartphone in <clears throat> so, so still life work and things, <clears throat> which I don't use very often, I must admit. I originally bought it when I bought my camera. I bought one of these gadgets to, with a gimbal on it to, so you could walk about taking videos without getting it wobbling about. I'll send that back. The ca cameras nowadays have uh, stabilising, though, don't they? Well, this is this doesn't have it. Well, not the phone. Uh, well, some some do. Stabilising. Some do. A real camera has. Oh yeah, yes, yes. But um, I think this open camera has got stabilisation for your your smartphone in it. Mm. So it's worth looking at. What was I going to say? Suppose we better stop, haven't we, and say goodbye and come back on the 2nd of September. 2nd of September. Mm. All right, OK. I may or may not be around. I might be in Queensland then. OK, well, that's all right. We can, we I'll can let you know. Use, use your smartphone. We can connect that way. <laughs> we can. Oh, yes, I could. Yeah, of course you could. Well, um, well, I'll be in the outback, so maybe not. Maybe not, yeah, all right. OK. Um, ask my daughter whether you can do it in the outback. Probably not. Probably not. Okay, right. I'll stop the recording.